Hi there. In this demonstration, we're going to see how to conduct a hypothesis test for a difference in two proportions using Minitab. And in this particular case, we're going to um, import our data in the form of raw data using two columns. All right, we're not going to just enter the number of successes, the number of trials in the form of summarized data. We're actually going to input the data um, in terms of uh, two columns. Right. So we're going to speak about this in the context of example two from chapter 9.3. And so what we have is some uh, data from Akita National Park for the summer of 2012. And we have the um, rainy days versus non-rainy days. So, so for the weekends, we had 19 days with rain out of 36. Right. So the proportion of rainy days on the weekends is 0.52778. And for weekdays, we had 29 rainy days out of a total of 85. So the proportion of rainy days for weekdays was 0.34. So we're testing the claim that the proportion for weekends is significantly greater than the proportion for weekdays, right? In the true sense of a, of a true significant difference, right? So it was 0.52778, significantly greater than 0.34118, right? So that's the test where I'm going to conduct. And we're going to put our data into um, two columns. And so what that means, I'm not, I'm not actually using this contingency table. I'm just having raw data. And so what this looks like, and I'll put it, uh, uh, I'll point it out over here. What I have is two columns. I have the weekend column and the weekday column. And this weekend column is basically did it rain or did it not? And notice there's a total of 36 weekend days. So if you come down here, there's 36 entries, right? And you have 19 or 19 that were rainy. So in this case, one is yes, it, it did rain. One is that it rained, and zero is that it did not rain, right? So it's it's a, it's a it's it's not a very intuitive way to include the data, but it helps us count a proportion, right? And we also have a second column for weekday rain, right? So we have a total of how many weekdays? We've got a lot of those, 85, and we have 28, 29 of them were rainy. So the one indicates rain, the zero indicates no rain. So that's what our data looks like. Okay, so to do this in Minitab, I'm gonna follow this first sequence of events right here. So I come over to Minitab, I hit Stat, basic statistics, two proportions. And you get your options here. Um, you have each sample in its own column. These are the two raw data options. Both samples are in one column, or the summarized data is where you just take this data over here in the table and insert it into a table. But um, we're gonna use the raw data where each sample is in its own column. And I've already done this, so these are already in here, but if you didn't, those, these would be blank, right? And so you gotta make sure your cursor is in this box, otherwise you won't see your options over here. So sample one, now I'm gonna go over here, that'll be my week, weekend rain, I'll select that. Sample two will be my weekday rain, I'll select that, All right? And now I'm gonna to go to my options. Uh, this is the confidence, inter confidence level for some confidence interval output that it does later, but we're worried about the hypothesis test. A hypothesized mean difference from the null hypothesis is zero, and our claim, or our alternate hypothesis, is that this difference is greater than zero, right? And there's other options here. You can do less than the hypothesized difference or not equal to. So we have left tail, two tailed, right tail. In this case, it's a right tail test. We're gonna use the pooled estimate of the proportion you don't have to do that, but if you want your answers to match those in the book, um, we're going to do. We're going to always select that option, All right? And in fact, you can only use that when the hypothesized mean difference is zero. But that is always the case, so we're good to go. At least that is always the case with our examples in the book. If you had a hypothesized difference that was not zero, you would actually have to estimate the proportion separately. But we're going with use the pooled estimate of the proportion. All right, I'm gonna click OK. I'm gonna click OK. And it gives me, um, it actually sort of rebuilds this 
contingency table here. Weekend rain, um, there were 19 days out of 36. Weekday rain was 29 out of 85, so it, gave, it gives me my sample proportion, so it does a little bit of the work for me. And we're looking at the difference of the proportion of weekend rain minus the proportion of weekday rain. And when you come down for the test, we're testing that that is greater than zero. We get a Z test statistic of 1.92, and most importantly to us, a p-value of 0.028. Now it also spits out the Fisher's exact test, which as far as p-values go is probably a more accurate p-value. Um, but that's based on a non-parametric test, uh, similar to a chi-square test. Um, but since we're using the normal approximation to the binomial distribution here, and throughout the text, I'm gonna, we're going to stick with this p-value here. So we have a p-value of 0 0.028. Depending on your significance level, you may reject or fail to reject the null hypothesis. If we have a significance level of 0 0.05, then great, this is less than that. I get to reject the null hypothesis, and I get to support the claim that the proportion of rainy days was significantly greater on weekends than on the weekdays. Right? So it's pretty easy. It's sort of a non-intuitive way of inputting the data, um, but it's really the way you count things and get proportions within um, Minitab. Okay, so that's it. Um, hypothesis test for a difference of two proportions using Minitab. Take care.